The Polygene by Rare Breeds is a 16-channel Euclidean rhythm generator that can accept and output polyphonic signals. Every sound in the following examples is triggered by the Polygene. A Euclidean rhythm generator is a tool that arranges beats in a pattern by evenly distributing them across a specific number of steps. It creates rhythms that are often world music relevant and have a solid groove feel, and this is exactly what the Polygene does. The Polygene has a circular interface that describes the steps and beats contained within the pattern. This knob allows you to switch between pattern channels. There are 16 total channels viewable as rings, with the outermost ring as channel 1 and the innermost as channel 16. Any channel that is not active is displayed as gray, and the current channel you're utilizing is displayed as red on the dark theme and blue on the light theme. The main input is here. This is where you connect the clock signal that will advance the pattern. The polyphony of the input signal sets the number of channels of the output signal. To create a polyphonic input, you can utilize the merge module and take a stacked cable from the clock source. You can also utilize the signal manifold by count modula, with the channel knob set to the total number of channels you'd like to use. In this example, we've got three active channels on both of these polygene. And in this example, we've got six. The output signal comes from this port, and it contains all of the channels in one cable. To access each channel, you can utilize the split module. In this example, we can see the six cables triggering six different percussive sounds. The length knob alters the total number of beats in a rhythm, with the maximum as 32. The hits knob alters the number of beats within that rhythm. Each time the pattern passes an on beat, a trigger is sent through the output. The number of beats can be between 0 and the current length setting. The shift knob shifts the pattern around the interface. I find this knob useful for placing triggers that are infrequent. I'm using it to place a snare in this example. The variation knob alters the rhythm by moving one beat by one position at a time. It's used to create unique variations of the pattern, and if the knob is rotated to the minimum position, it's the base Euclidean pattern. This button is the manual sync. It will restart all of the patterns at the 12 o'clock position. The randomize button randomizes all of the settings for the selected channel. The reverse button sets the direction that the clock advances the beat. If reverse is activated, the beat will advance anti-clockwise. The inverse button will swap all of the on beats to off beats, and vice versa. The end of cycle output sends a pulse signal when a new cycle starts for each channel. This port is also polyphonic, and the number of output channels matches the number of active channels determined by the polyphony of the main input. There are three different modes for this output, which are on repeat, which triggers on the first beat of a new cycle only if the cycle played all the way through, First, which triggers on the first beat even if the cycle was restarted, and last, which triggers on the last beat of the cycle. These ports accept control voltages to modulate all of the associated parameters. You can utilize the merge module to affect specific channels. In this example, I am modulating the variation parameter of the first and sixth channel. You can get some really groovy patterns off this bad boy, and I encourage you to mess with it and have fun. This module is free, and you can get it off the VCV Rack Library page by searching Polygene or by subscribing to Rare Breeds. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing, and of course checking out my other content, or don't, whatever, that's cool too. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.